Hello everybody! Well, I've had, today I've had like the kind of best day that I've had in months and I haven't had any symptoms today, which for me is really weird and so it's a really good thing, right? But it's just a bit strange. So I had a really big few days and then I made myself have some rest and then today I woke up and I felt I have so much energy and my mind is going so fast. It's like, is this what I used to be like? And there's a wonderful book by Lee Hatcher. It's called, I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. And it's about his journey with chronic fatigue syndrome. But today I'm thinking, I'm not crazy. I'm just a little bit well because I feel so fantastic and probably this is what a normal healthy person feels every day but when you are so fatigued all the time or if you have fibromyalgia or you have some autoimmune disorder that your baseline or your regular feeling is so low that when you have a good day it's, whoa I can fly to Mars and set up a space colony and discover aliens so that's the kind of feeling that I had today and my brain was working so fast and maybe I shouldn't have had a coffee because yeah I was getting so many ideas and but my memory is still bad so I get some idea or I have something that I want to talk about but then my short-term memory just I forgot already so I'm likely to forget what I want to say even in this video but yeah I today I found myself walking okay talking a lot and just generally feeling well and part of me is thinking okay this is a trick I'm not really that well and I'm waiting for a setback or I'm waiting for like a symptom to kick in so over the past couple of days I have had some symptoms I've had some tremors in my leg last night I randomly had stuttering and I had no idea what the trigger was and I can't figure that one out and it's just gonna take me time to learn more about what my triggers are and how to deal with the symptoms when they come but I got a few more techniques for some of my symptoms and I'll share about that another time. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is about the traffic light system. And I'll put a link down below of another video that explains this really well for chronic illness about green light means go, orange means hey you might want to slow down and red means stop. So with our energy it's the same as driving. When you see the traffic light, you get the, oh, that's the warning signal. I need to do something. And like if you are a regular healthy person, I realized if you're going out partying and you have a big night and then you have to turn up to work tomorrow and then your friends say, oh, let's go out again tonight. That was so much fun. And you say, whoa, I'm still hungover. I'm tired. I need to sleep. So you would know like, oh, I can't do that two nights in a row. But for myself and maybe for you, I don't know, we're not so good at reading those signals or I have some warpy thoughts where I think, oh, well, a regular person would be able to do that. So I should be able to do that or I push myself. So I don't often have a lot of 100% green days although today might have been a pretty good go 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 your energy is okay I could go to physiotherapy I could do some internet research I could do some updating of my finances um, but usually I will hit orange pretty early on in the day and it's like whoa you need to rest you need to do some meditation you need to just chill out you need to put on some TV and zone out in front of some cooking shows and not get too excited to do cooking and then I have red so red for me is easier to identify than the orange so for me the stop will be 
extreme symptoms like um, seizure, um, walking problems, and like I have much more extreme ones which I won't talk about now. But like the stuttering that came on last night, I'm like, oh, this is strange. I had no warning. And then my mother who was with me said, oh, you should just be quiet and take a break. And I said, but my mind is still good and my movement is still fine. And it was just suddenly my speech went a bit weird. So I thought, should I rest or should I try to push through? Should I do something to try to change my speech? So all of that to say, I am not sure yet what signals are like the orange warning saying, whoa, you might want to slow down or when it's really going to be, you better stop now or you're going to have a horrible crash. Um, and so it's really the ideal is to slow down or stop or take a break, do whatever you need to do to get back in the green so that you don't hit the red because you don't want to have a traffic collision. <laughs> so yeah, I wonder what for you, what are your, like your signals that you know that, well, that is red, I need to stop. But then the orange might be more difficult for you to think about what are your kind of warning signs. Um, and it might be something very small. So for me, I had noticed one is my concentration when I'm in a conversation and I notice oh, I did not hear what that person said. It's not because I'm not wanting to listen because I want to listen, but I just zoned out and then I try to get back into it, but it's really difficult. And then I know, okay, brain fog, concentration, I need to take a break. And I was really proud of myself today when I was on the phone with somebody who's a good friend. So I was actually able to say to her, sorry, I just need to zone out for five minutes. Feel free to keep talking, but I, I just need to have a short break. And she was totally fine with that. So we just kept the call running, but I didn't have to talk for a little while. And I was also able to say, oh, I just need to grab something to eat because I know food is something that helps me get back into that green zone and get my energy and be able to keep going for just a little bit without pushing through the orange and hitting the red and getting caught by the symptoms police. <laughs> so yeah, I found that the traffic lights thing or spoon theory, credits, whatever it is, those kind of things are really helpful for us with uh, chronic illness and particularly fatigue to think about what helps us to slow down, uh, what helps us to do well. And thinking about in the long term, it's better to have like doing less, being more and having more green orange days rather than red stop crash and needing to recover. And then you have one green day and then, oh, I'm green, I'm green and push, 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 crash. And the same cycle will happen over and over. So now that I've had this green day where I felt really good the whole day this is the thing I really wanted to say ignore the last five minutes of what I just said this is the thing that I really wanted to say I think the green days are the hardest I mean when you really feel good and you want to do all the things but that's actually the hardest part because you have to stop yourself like I have to stop myself before I even get to the orange slow down because I have so many ideas about all the things I'm going to do in the future and like all the videos I'm going to make and the blog posts I'm going to write and the cooking I'm going to do and then and how I'm going to take over the world but whoa you're having a good day don't push it if you want to have a green day tomorrow then we need to like slow down in advance preemptively it, you know what I mean slow down before you need to slow down so I'm trying to keep track of my health in general and my health diary that I bought at Kmart is really helping me to keep track of symptoms and my general energy and even right now I can feel like my eyes are getting tired and 
because I've been talking, my whole face is a bit like, oh, we could just take a nap now. So that is my sign. I need to stop making this video and go have a cup of herbal tea and just zone out in front of Pride and Prejudice for a while. So I'm going to do that. I hope that you can take a break too whenever you need to. And I'd love to hear your stories about when you're having a good day or a good hour or a good five minutes. How do you deal with that feeling of wanting to go, 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 but knowing you need to just slow down and take a break? I need help. We all need help. So please leave a comment below, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching.